Mia Cucina in Italian means my kitchen and today I have a beautiful dish to show you and not only that I am going to show you the authentic way in making basil pesto the way that my grandmother my grandparents would do it and it's a lost art and I want to bring it back because there's nothing like making your own pesto fresh that does not come from a jar. Pero la prima cosa que davvero fare, la first thing that we need to, to do is to prendere il fadale. And we are listening to Italian Pandora music. And, um, and today I wanted to bring this dish to you because this is very special dish for me. It is my, it was my father and my uncle Victor's favorite dish. And my uncle Victor recently passed from cancer, so I am dedicating this beautiful dish to my uncle Victor, wherever he may be, probably smiling and having wonderful vinos in heaven. So let me give you the, I'm going to show you first of all how, we're going to take, I'm going to take you step by step because this is going to be a, a wonderful uh, basil uh, pesto pasta dish with broccoli and shrimp. And that was one of my uncle's, one of my uncle's favorites when he would come and visit from Pittsburgh to here to Florida. He just loved shrimp. So what I have here is, uh, because it's my husband and I, depending on the size of your family, is on how much you are going to have on your shrimp. And I have some beautiful shrimps here. And what I have here is some salt and pepper. And I'm just going to take a little bit of salt and pepper and just kind of salt and pepper the shrimp because the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my shrimps done then I'm going to remove them from there from there I'm going to put them in a bowl with some uh, some of this paper that I always forget the name of it so um, what I want to do is I'm going to get my pan started and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on about medium to medium high and what I have here is two tablespoons of olive oil but what I want to do, and I don't want to use it all right now, I just want to use one tablespoon only because that's what's going to get my shrimp going. And one thing I did forget, if I can find it, my brush, aspetta. In Italian, aspetta means wait. Aspetta. So now everybody, aspetta. So I'm just going to make sure that I get my oil all incorporated in here like that. And then as soon as this gets hot, I am going to get my little shrimpy guys and I'm gonna put them all in here until they get nice and, you know, when they turn their beautiful pink colors. Because this is going to have like the Italian flag, which is white, which is the pasta, and I'm using, I'm going to be using this beautiful linguine. And linguine is a pasta that it's flat, okay? And I have pre-cooked it to so make this, and actually I pre-cooked it last night. So for all your moms, you can make this dish, make it a lot easier. I am done with this. I'm going to get this out of the way. I'm going to move my paper out of the way. And then what I'm going to do now is these are doing their thing is I'm going to show you how to make it a pesto, okay? So what I have is I have fresh a basilico. Basilico in English is basil. I also have some pine nuts. And what I have is two to, two, two to three tablespoons of pine nuts because I don't know how much I'm going to use. I'm also going to be using some fresh garlic. I also have some good... Uh, Pecorino Romano cheese. If you don't have pecorino, guess what? Just use the Romano cheese. I also have some salt and I also have some olive oil. I can't tell you how much olive oil because it depends on what's going on. Because I want to make my pesto, I want to get my shrimps, I want to get my pesto, and then I'm going to show you how we are going to get everybody together with this amazing, delicious sauce. Also, when I cooked my pasta yesterday, guys, I reserved pasta water. So I may use a cup to, I have a cup to a cup, but I have here a cup, so I don't know if I'm going to use it all. It's Because, you know, the way that my family cooked, they never measured. And it's very hard for me to measure. So that's why I tell you what I tell you. So this is already pre-cooked, not all the way. And then what I've done in this morning is I have washed it, okay? And that's why it's easy to, to maneuver with it. All right, so how do we 
do this. Let me get my shrimps because they go really quick. Uh, let me grab this right here. Because my shrimpies are already starting to turn doing their color and I don't want to overcook my shrimps because my shrimps I am going to be adding them at the end with everybody so I'm just going to turn my shrimps over you know I, I, I'm using my hands and I could use these little guys yes I know I know I just love to touch my food I just like to it's not because in that way I know what's going on you know I, I, I know what's going on you know who was like that was my mother my mother, <laughs> when we would go to the grocery store, she would have to touch, you know, she would have to feel the package of the chicken because, you know, we grew, I grew up with never having chicken in a package because, you know, you wanted a chicken, you went in the backyard, you got the, the chicken, you know, you uh, uh, take care of the chicken and then you pluck the chicken and then you make the chicken. So I know how to make a chicken, you know, so, uh, but I, I would not want to kill the chicken. All right, so now this is so simple and so easy. Boom, voila, it's done. I can move these guys. Because what we want to do is we just want to get this color. You know, we just want to get the color of the shrimp. Because we want, and I want the shrimp flavors in here already with my oils. You know, there's got to be a better way of doing this. Okay, you know what? I am going to slow down. I am in no hurry. And neither are you. Because if you're watching... You really want to watch this because it's a true, authentic Italian family dish that I wanted to show it to you in memory of my wonderful Uncle Victor and, uh, and my father and my mother. They're all dancing, having a good time wherever they are. All right, so now I'm just going to cover this right here. Now to this right here, before I start this, is I am going to add the rest of my wonderful olive oil. I'm going to turn this down because I don't want anything to burn. And then what I have here is I am going to be utilizing quite a bit of garlic. I do have four uh, cloves of garlic that I have chopped. They're all going to go right in here like so because that's what's going to give some wonderful flavors. I want to come back and finish getting my olive oil. I don't want any. I don't want to lose any of my olive oil. So get yourself one of these guys and get more. You know, get your olive oil in there because that's what's going to start the whole entire thing. Also, I have some spedzi. This is red pepper flakes, and what I have is I have a teaspoon of that. I'm just going to put them all in there. So very simple transaction. And then I have over here. Remember, I have my broccoli. And, and what I have in broccoli is I have, you could use uh, three cups of broccoli. It's really not that much. Okay, it's not that much. Okay, guys. And then what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to add some of this. I'm going to give my uh, uh, wonderful uh, garlic with my spedzies. And I don't want my garlic to burn. Because by this time that this is going to be doing this thing, we are going to do our pesto. Because this is going to go quickly, guys. So I'm just going to add a little bit of the water. Yes, I know, I know. I'm going to add more of the water. I am going to add my broccoli now. And now I'm done with my broccoli. That's how simple and fast this is. So I'm just going to leave it in here. They're all going to hang out there doing their thing. I still have my pasta water. We're going to wait on that. I'm going to take the rest of my salt and pepper, the rest of my salt and pepper, and I'm just going to add it like that. Boom, finish. That's how quick and easy that is. All right, so now I also have here a teaspoon of Dijon mustard that I'm also going to add, but not quite yet. So I'm just going to put that on the side. So when I'm done with the pesto, it's going to look like this, vibrant. All right, so now I remember what I talked to you about. I have some grated pecorino romano. If you don't have pecorino, romano will do. Some salt. Some, some some pine nuts, there goes my olive oil, that's why it's always good to have a something over here. And then what I'm going to do is I have one of these little guys. My grandmother used to have a bigger one. And then what we want to do is we want to take the basil, make sure it's nice and dry, and we are going to use also the whole entire thing. So what I want you to do is then get everything out of the way so you guys can see what I am doing. I'm going to start with the leaves first, okay? I'm just going to cut them like that. I'm going to put them in this little thing, grab one of these, and just start, 
Yes. Start pounding. Start pounding. And don't give up on the pounding. You got to keep pound, 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 pound. And what I have is I have 16 ounces. I know. I even, I, I weighed, I mean, I weighed, weighed it. Uh, I don't know how much, I mean, you know, I remember that when, you know, the basils are doing so good and my beautiful plants right now are, are putting up basil. I remember, you know, there would be all this basil, all these basil in the kitchen. My grandmother had a long kitchen. And when she made this, and now I'm going to start adding these stems because, you know, we add everything in here. And let me tell you something about basil. You know, basil was cultivated over 50, 50 even, oh my God, over 50,000 years ago. Or, or maybe I might not have the fat. Keep pounding, guys. Just you got to keep pounding. You got to keep pounding. And, you know, I mean, when, and when, the, when, we, when the family would do this, when my grandmother would do this, there would be two or three of my aunts that would be doing the same thing because, you know, you know we had a bigger family. You know, you got, the, your, you got your aunts and your uncles and the kids. And then everybody got to come to the party. Everybody was having a lot of fun. So you got to keep pounding. And what you're doing is you're releasing all the oils. You're releasing all the deliciousness, the pesto, that uh, basil is. And let me tell you something about basil. Did you know that basil reduces inflammation? Not only did this, it reduces uh, inflammation. It's a powerful antioxidant, guys. Now I'm just going to do a shifoli shifoli here. You know, my broccoli is doing wonderful. It's just cooking there slowly with all this wonderful mess with lots of garlic because garlic is high in antioxidants. We need those antioxidants, guys. We need to keep our body in alkaline. I always talk about that when you keep your body in alkaline, it doesn't get sick. Okay, so then now, as this is still doing its thing, because that's how fast and easy this is going to go, we just keep pounding, keep pounding, keep pounding. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add garlic. And I got, I'm going to be adding a little bit of garlic at a time, and I have chopped my garlic, and I just keep pounding. Once you do this, you will never, ever, ever again, guys, never, never, ever again will buy a jar because there's nothing better than fresh. And you know, you can go to the stores and now basil, you know, in the old days, you know, my, my grandfather had a beautiful garden, so did my Uncle Victor, and so did my dad. You know, I, I, I was born in, in Southern Italy, and, and we worked the land. My parents always worked the land, you know, so I'm an Italian Southerner. Uh, now, if you don't have one of these, and you have one of these, okay, a glass one, let me show you because then that way you can maybe see better. See, look, now I'm going to move this all over here before I add any olive oil or anything. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. And we haven't done anything, and it smells so good. But my grandfather had made one for my grandmother. So now, if you don't have one of those and you have a nice glass, okay, be careful. You can still pound that. Okay, I'm gonna add the rest of my garlic because I like mine to have garlic. It's nice and tasty. Now I'm going to add some of my pecorino romano. How much? Let me add a tablespoon. Because you know, everything is measured. Mamma mia, but what is a measure? We never measured. And I'm just gonna add the pine nuts right there. I have not yet added any olive oil. I just wanna show you, you see this, how I'm doing this, okay? Pound, 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 pound. And it, it creates this wonderful deliciousness. Now, if you don't have pine nuts, okay, because I know it's a big thing in Italia, the pine nuts, you can also use, um, my grandmother sometimes will use uh, walnuts. And, uh, and you would see it, and it would be so delicious. So what you're doing, you keep pounding, you keep pounding, 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 pounding. See what, you see what you're looking at? Look how beautiful, and this, I'm using everything organic. Do you see that? Hey, Carol, I see you. I think I see you. I don't have my glasses. And what I'm, I'm telling you guys, <laughs> you know, basil is fights bacterial infections. It's an anti-aging. It's anti-aging. That's why, you know, the Italians, when, you know, you see them, they, they look so beautiful. They just don't age. It fights cancer. It reduces fevers. It relieves stress. Yes. I, li I like a pine nuts, you know, depending on how much. And now I'm going to add my other tablespoon. Now, you know, hey, over here I don't have 16 ounces. I have, um, 
I have eight because I did this earlier. And depending on the size of the family, you can get the kids to pound. And as you can see, I'm not breaking anything. Get yourself a nice thick one of these guys. And, you know, my broccoli is starting to now do its thing more. It's starting to get into continuously to do their thing. And look how beautiful and green the broccoli. That's what happens when you use organic. I don't want those pesticides in my body, sir. I really don't. I really don't. So then you're just going to continue. Now I'm going to start adding some olive oil. And, you know, because the olive oil is really done afterwards, after everything has been pounded and incorporated, and it makes a beautiful paste. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. So let me tell you another thing, too, about basil. And I understand now when I was younger when, and we had a fever, my mom would always give me pesto. Not pesto, but would put up, she would make a tea with, um, with basil because guess what? It reduces fever. Yes, basil reduces fever, guys. It releases stress and depression. Depression. It promotes cardiovascular health. It, suppo it supports the, the liver function, improves digestion. Basil is a wonderful thing. So why would I want to get a can or a, or a jar? Why would I want to do that? So I'm going to add my other one that I did earlier. Okay, and I didn't use a lot of the olive oil on the other one, so I am done with that. Very simple transaction. And now I have my salt. Because, you know, we want to salt, it's just a little pinchy pinchy like that. All right, so now what I'm going to do now, because my this is done. You see how simple? And I'm going to come back and I'm going to show this to you. Because I want you, well, I'm telling you, you... I'm urging you to do this because this is so wonderful for your health because you know one thing too that uh, the basil is it's got vitamin A and vitamin C and vitamin K and improves di uh, it, it, it helps diabetics yes basil help, helps diabetics and it's wonderful now I want to come in here and I want to add the, some more olive oil so how much olive oil I don't know you know, I, I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show it to you. That's why work with me here. Because, if, you know, when you buy the jar, it's full, of all, it's full of oil. And I don't know what kind of oil they're using. So I am using some very good olive oil. You know, invest in your health, guys. Inve instead of buying those beautiful shoes. I know, we love shoes. Women love shoes. Invest in some good olive oil. So if you're going to spend $100 in shoes, spend $100 on your health. Because you are deserving of that. Okay, so now you have this. Look at this beautiful thing. Let me bring this closer. Let me bring this closer. This is, this is a homemade pesto. You see how green that is? You see how beautiful that is? You see that? Okay, good. I'm so glad. I'm so glad because I'm very passionate about health. Because if we don't take care of our health, then no one else is going to take care of our health. It's our responsibility, our health. So then now this is done. All right, now I'm gonna add some more pasta water. I still have my pasta water right here. And now I'm gonna come in and I'm going to add some of this deliciousness. That is my twist that I like to show. It just gives it a little extra mm, flavor. And you know me, I'm all about the flavor. And I'm just gonna to continue to add this. I'm just gonna add a little bit more of this. So pretty much I am using a good cup. Now I'm gonna raise my temperature over here. And now, this deliciousness, mm -hmm. the, the way that my family would do it, they would make the salsa like this, right? And then they would put the, the pasta. Then they would put the pasta in there. Yes, they would put the pasta in there because I'm showing you the authentic way. And then we are going to mix everything together because now we want the pasta to just kind of marry the wonderful um, broccoli with the spedzies. Oh, yeah, baby. So what you have is you have a pasta and broccoli right now. Right now it's pasta and broccoli with the garlic, uh, with, a, with the spedzi, you know, the red pepper flakes, with a little bit of the wonderful deliciousness of the, okay, the mustard. I added the mustard. It was not part of the equation, okay, because, you know, something you have to make it your own. Everybody's different. And everybody makes this different. So what I'm doing now is I am heating 
my pasta that I cooked. Now the pasta, the way that we would do it, it will come out of the, it will come out, you know, after you make it, you know, and you add the, the pasta water into it. So now what I'm gonna do to this, I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit of olive oil. And why not? Olive oil is good for us. All right, so then now, well, when my, that, that way that it would be done, is once you heat this, okay, get yourself a bowl, because this is gonna be very quick. I'm gonna clear the decks here. Oh, it's nice, it's, it's doing this thing, it's singing. It's singing, it's singing. Can you hear that? What did I say? Love, beautiful love. Get yourself one of these guys. Because you do not cook the pesto. No, you do not cook the pesto. Oh, mamma mia, you don't. And here is not making, here is not supposed to be sauce. It's supposed to be this beautiful thing. So right now, I just want to heat this up. Oh, look at this beautiful noodles. Oh, they're getting all those wonderful things. And we're not done because now what we're going to do now is we're going to add the shrimps right in there so they can finish cooking. And I'm just going to, you know, I shouldn't get another one of these. <laughs> okay, two. And now we are going to, we are going to riminigliati. Riminigliati in calabrese means to mix. Riminigliati. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, so then now I'm going to shut it off because remember the shrimp is almost done. And then now that it's been off, now I bring in my pesto and I am, are you ready? Look at this beautiful pesto. Oh, I cannot wait. Oh, I can see my father smiling at me. I can see my Uncle Victor smiling. I can see my mom. Oh. I can see all my family that is not here anymore, but they're smiling. And now I just want to mix. I want to mix this pesto. I want to mix because now it's all fresh. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, and we're not even done yet. Yes, look at the shrimps. It's just getting all happy. They're all happy. Everybody is so happy in this beautiful, beautiful pan. And then now, oh my mommy, oh. You know, you can smell the garlic, you can smell the olive oil, because when you use good olive oil, because you're investing in olive oil, so those $100 shoes can wait, but your health cannot wait, because it's all about health. And now, oh, mamma mia, que bellezza. Oh, mamma mia, que bellezza. And the flavors, the flavors are going to be delicious. You know, a lot of times my grandmother, and my grandfather, you know, they will make homemade pasta. My mom used to make homemade pasta all the time. So then get yourself this, a bowl. And look at this. Look at this. You see this beautiful pesto? You Can you see that anybody hungry yet? I know we are. Look at that. So then now, because I wanted to show you. And I'm not going to let any little pesto get out of my way. So you can see you have this beautiful dish. This is una bella mangiata. Una bella mangiata in Italian means it's a good, it's a good eating. So then now, okay, that you have this, because now everybody's so happy. I like to add a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit of olive oil. You gotta have a little bit of olive oil. Just, you know, just a little bit of olive oil. Because what you want is you want something like this. But we're not finito yet. Now you're gonna get the some good cheese. Now we gotta get the good cheese. You know, you have to have the good cheese. Get yourself some really good cheese. Because remember, those shoots can wait, the shirts can wait, the boat can wait, the motorcycle can wait. The, the, well, I don't know about the car. You need the car so you can go, go buy all these things. And then what you wanna do is you wanna have these like this. Oh, mamma mia. Oh, mamma mia. And then, are you guys ready to see what you made? And then what you have that is my authentic from my family and then I have a couple of pieces of basil and then these pieces of basil that I have I'm just going to just put them like you know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna break it and I'm just gonna put a little bit of basil here a little basil there because I really want the health benefits of this beautiful basil 
and then watch you know just kind of break it down like that yes like that and the aroma the humor the humor del amore del mangiato what i said is the smell the smell the beautiful smell of this beautiful food and what you have is this beautiful homemade pesto and shrimp look at this and broccoli so wonderful so delicious oh mamma mia che bellezza and what did i say oh mamma mia che bellezza it says oh mamma mia how beautiful but wait 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 because you know i gotta taste and i have to taste this deliciousness i have to taste this deliciousness but let me show you let me show you let me show you let me show you this beautiful pesto. You see how beautiful that is? Don't you want a bite? Open your mouth. Mangia, mangia. Che ti fa bene? Mangia, mangia. Che ti fa bene. Is eat, eat. That is good for you. And that's all I have for you today. I want to thank my wonderful sponsors. Cola Harris with Pharmacy that keeps me glowing. I want to thank Daniel Rodriguez with Life and Food Superstores for providing these beautiful noodles. I love the noodles. I want to thank um, Stephen Billy with um, uh, uh, Billy Fishing and Charters. And I want to thank Soul Angels with uh, Color Street. And I want to thank you for enjoying me in this beautiful Italian mangiata. Now you know how to make it the best, eh? No more jars. And what I suggest you do is buy organic because we, I will never use nothing. I grow my own basil. And it's very easy to grow basil, guys. And I'm going to thank you so much for joining me on Mia Cucina. Grazie a tutti quanti. Thank you so much for everything, for all of you. I love every single one of Molto amore. And thank you so much. And this is what I...